Today's math strategy video is on solving one-step word problems. Today we're going to look at solving one-step word problems with multiplication and division. So our first problem here says Shelly has 18 flowers. She puts them into equal groups of six. How many flowers are in each group? So we're going to look at the information that's given to us in the problem. So it says that she has 18 flowers. This is our total. And it says that she wants to put them into equal groups of six. And then we want to know how many are going to be in each of those groups. So I'm going to model this problem with an array. I feel like that will best help me to solve it. So I'm going to make, I'm going to start with groups of six, like start making, like I'm going to pull six flowers up here. So I, and I'm going to label them so I know I have them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what I'm going to do is since I don't know how many are going to be in each, I am just going to start dropping one into each group because I know that they have to be equal. So instead of just like adding these, um, you know, to each group randomly, I'm going to build an array so it'll be nice and even and I can see exactly how many flowers I will have. So now I have these left over. I'm going to go and add these. Move them up some. Now I've I filled them up until I have no more flowers left. So here are all 18 of the flowers and they're all nice in their array. So building an array just means that I'm gonna have, you know, equal columns and then, um, or whatever amount of columns, and then I'm going to have my rows filled up with no flowers left over. So now let's look at each of these. So if I have six, six groups and I wanna know how many in each group, I'm gonna circle out each of these. So now I can see that I have one, two, three. I have three in each group and I don't even need to count the rest of them because I organized them in an array. So that helps me visually see that I've got three in each of the six groups. So now what I want to think about is, would this problem best be modeled with a division equation or a multiplication equation? Now it can be modeled by both, but I want to think about what the actual word problem is asking. It gave me a total number of flowers and it wanted me to put them in equal groups of six. So a helpful tip or hint would be that if you're given a total, you're usually going to be doing a division problem when it gives a total and then it asks for equal groups. So if I take 18 and I divide it into the six groups, this will tell me how many are in each group. So 18 divided by six equals three for three in each group. Let's look at another problem. This one says there are five apples in a group. How many are in three groups. Okay, this one could be a little tricky. So it tells me there are five apples in a group. How many in three? Well, I don't have a total. So we don't know that yet. Now, if I don't know what the total is, that might give me a hint of how to solve this problem. So I'm going to look here. It already gives me um, this is this is my first group, so I need another group and another one because it asks for three groups here, and I'm going to have five in each. So let's see if I can click on this. I'm going to copy it, move those over here. I'm going to move these over here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to count up. So I've got, make sure that I have, these are five here, two, three, four, five. And I've got three groups of five. So I would have five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I can also count by five. So, you know, five plus five plus five equals 15. So now you think about how is this problem best modeled? So I didn't know my total. So that usually tells me that I am going to be doing a multiplication problem. So I have five apples. I want them in to know how many would be in three groups. That would give me 15. So that is the end of today's math strategy video.